Welcome back to the French Kitchen and today we're doing the ultimate dessert, the one that everyone's scared of, a souffle and a strawberry one at that. So ingredients wise, as you can imagine, it's actually pretty straightforward. So we've got strawberries because it's a strawberry souffle. Um, We've got the sugars, demerara sugar and white sugar. We've got a little bit of kirsch and that's just for the flavouring. Eggs of course, egg whites, butter and corn flour. So there's nothing too complicated about that really. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our strawberries on the heat. Um, so because it's a strawberry souffle, the base is strawberries and that needs to be a puree. So we're gonna cook that down um, and all we need is we've got 150 grams of strawberries in there um, and that's enough for two people this should make two two good sized souffles so a tablespoon and a half of demerara sugar and just a splash of water in there and that's it really so we're going to get this on a medium heat um, and just start to soften the strawberries we get these strawberries on the heat and what we're going to do is just cook them until they're nice and soft and then we're going to pick a couple out for later and the rest we're going to turn into a puree. And you just cannot beat that smell of strawberries being warmed up, it's amazing. So now these are nice and tender. I'm going to turn the gas off and we're just going to pick out uh, let's say two or three per souffle. So we're going to reserve them when we start, for when we start building up the souffle. And all we're going to add to this is just a little splash of kirsch and just to get them marinating in that while we're waiting. So, the rest of the strawberries, we are going to blend up. Now I've got this cool little blender here which gets it really fine and it does need to be fine um, so it doesn't hinder the souffle from working. So we're just going to put all the strawberries and juice in there and just give them a little waz up until they're nice and smooth. No lumps. So once that's all wised up, oh, we're going to just pour that puree mix back into the pan. The same pan that we used to heat up the strawberries. Before we put that back on the heat, we're just going to mix up a little bit of corn flour and water and that's just going to help uh, bind that into more of a paste. Give that a mix up. I'm just going to add this straight to the souffle mix. So this is about half a teaspoon of corn flour and just a couple of drops of water just to get it started. We're going to get that back on the heat, get it up to temperature so the corn flour thickens and then that's ready. So once that's up to heat and thickened, we're just going to work on the base and really the base of the souffle is just a meringue mix, but it's as easy as that. Um, so we're just going to separate the yolks from the whites, um, add a bit of sugar and whisk it up. So for a souffle for two, we're using three egg whites. So once we've broken these egg whites up a bit, obviously for this you can use an electric whisk or a, mis whisk or a mixer. Um, I just like to do it by hand just to show off really. So we're going to add to our meringue mix. 
tablespoon and a half of caster sugar. And just mix this till stiff peaks, um, and then that's ready. So get your chefy muscles out. Okay. There we go. Just like that. So now, while we've been doing that, obviously that's given this time to cool a little bit. So what we're going to do is just add a third of this mixture into the strawberry. I'm just going to get that incorporated. All the strawberries in there. I'm going to add that to the mixture and that way we keep as much air as possible in there because the air is what makes the soup play rise at the end of the day. And then just incorporate this. Don't go crazy. Just kind of around and through the middle sort of job. And that is ready to put in the ramekin. So we're just going to prepare these ramekins now. What we've got to do to these is we've got to butter them first um, and then put some sugar in. So once we've got the butter in, we're just going to brush the sides upwards and that will encourage the souffle to rise up them little ridges. So once they've got butter in, I'm just going to go around and brush upwards. Just those nice ridges all the way around. So once they're buttered, just going to get a little bit of caster sugar and just dust them. So we've got a nice, let's tap out the excess. Get the second one, a little bit in there. So they are ready to fill now. It's really simple because we're adding the cursed strawberries to the middle of it. As a little surprise, we're just going to fill it halfway. See if we get each one about half filled. And we're just going to add these to the middle. Not too high in the mixture, just in the middle, so it's a nice little surprise. And then once they're in, I'm just going to fill it right to the top. And what we're aiming for is a completely full, but then I just want to scrape the top off so it's dead flat and hopefully that will let it rise evenly and we're just going to clean all around the edge just so it doesn't stick to that rim either. Just with your nails go in that's one same again fill it right to the top more than enough mixture here should be more than enough mixture here for two. Flatten it off. And clean up the edge. And that's then two ready. So we're going to put them in the oven. The oven's been preheating. So it's at 220 degrees C or 428 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to pop them in now. So they should take about 8 to 10 minutes and just keep an eye on them. When they're at a good height, we need to take them out and you want to serve them straight away. 
Look at that. Perfect. And another one there. That one's gone off to one side a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So, now they're out of the oven, we, you want to serve them pretty much as soon as you can. So we're just going to garnish the plates now and get them out. So we just want to get this out. Just want to get this out as soon as we can. Quick dusting of icing sugar on top. And that is ready to go and enjoy it straight away. Them amazing strawberries in the middle, which will just be full of that liqueur. Um, should be light and delicious, not too filling, just a nice end to the meal. So there it is, souffle. So that's it guys. Some people think it's a hard one to do, but it's actually really, really easy. And just a little bit of practice with the techniques, cleaning it off, and you get a really good rise. So I hope you enjoy this one. If you do give it a go at making this, please tag us on Instagram, put a picture of your attempt on there, and we'd love to see it. And we'll see you next time.